Before starting this episode, I a small announcement, and uh, it's not how huge the S3 is. By the way, it is huge, and it's giant Sequoia. It's the last uh, tree that we can get from the quest line, but it's not the end. We are still going to breed some trees. Anyway, the announcement is after some procrastination and uh, yeah, laziness on my side, I finally decide to open an English Discord. Yeah, uh, my Turkish audience was communicating, enjoying, and sharing something in my Turkish Discord already. And it's full of strange and uh, interesting minded people. Mostly a lot of nerds. And I decided to open an English one to you, a global one. So, if you, if you want to join, we will share a lot of things there. We will help each other on technical stuff, on Minecraft stuff, on, or any other stuff. And it's quite, probably going to be full of uh, random shits going on there and there. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's a fun place. It will be a fun place. It's new, but... Uh, you're all welcomed. Anyway, let's stop the rambling and start with the episode. Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Great Tech New Horizons Season 2. And in this episode, we're gonna tackle this building. Yeah, uh, it's actually time to move this building to Apply Energy 6. We're gonna make a shit ton of uh, sub channels, I guess. <laughs> anyway, and that quest again. Uh, my first priority is upgrading the plastic production because we currently only have a PTFE and Pultets. Uh, yeah, polytetrafluoroethylene and polyethylene. Uh, po sorry, polyurene chloride, polyethylene. Yes, those are still the same <laughs> infrastructure. And polytetrafluoroethylene. And the rest of them are batchcraft. That's not our style. That shouldn't be our style. And I'm going to upgrade those. Other than that, so we're gonna do... Yeah, just that. Also, I'm also planning to move... No, not here. The clean room to here. To make it... Actually, the clean room can stay there. But I want the clean room to close... To, uh, yeah, it should be closer to me. Yeah, we're gonna move the clean room again. Or I can just make it a bit bigger. Who knows? Who knows? I will just think about it. Actually, it can stay here. Yeah. But it will move to... Apply to just 6. Yeah. That's the current episode's to-do list. After that, I'm probably going to either reorg restructure my ore processing setup... And these guys, which are going to be turned into a multi-block thingy majiggy, or a bit of magic. I I'm not I'm still not sure which one will be better, so any feedback will be nice about that. And by magic, yeah, the, the, these bats are actually a good source of so salt for me. <laughs> uh, no, not salt, uh, fish oil for me. <laughs> but while I uh, planning on uh, planning the, the things around, I realized something. Our p entire power spine is bottlenecked by this guy. Our storage. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it for the long run. And 
while doing everything, we are also going to replace some of our power spine and restructure our entire power spine. So why not the, do the thing now? And we are going gonna do just that. We're gonna replace our power spine with this guy. And not power spine, the power storage. This is a multi-block. This multi-block is going to stay. But it will be gradually upgraded one by one by one by one. And it can be whoops. Multiple layers. Uh, and it will be upgraded a lot. And no, you're not going to go there. Okay. Okay, five block. Thank you. And yeah, you come here. And the rest is like this. Yeah, we have a maintenance hatch. We have two 16 amp of energy hatches. Uh, one will connect to these guys and one will connect to those guys. This one will use some transformers, but this one will, for now, use this gigantic cable. Yeah. And we have a maintenance hatch. And then we have a 16 amp of... A 16 amp dynamo hatch, EV. I actually wanted to make a IV hatch, but we can't. Because it requires iridium. Now let's place this and then place the capacitors. Capacitors are, the empty ones are like this and the other ones are like this. And they have two different tiers. Okay. And so let's look at the upgraded one. Okay, Lepetrink Energy Orb and your, okay, you require something entirely different. Okay, okay. Good to know. And let's place these guys. Uh, not all of them should be full. Some can be empty. And they are at the moment. And this is currently how I... What I can manage to craft. And let's place the glasses. Uh, one thing to note is the glass tier should be minimum of three, three tiers below of our highest tier capacitors. So, IV to HV is okay and has problems. Okay, now come here and voila! Let's do something more radical. We need to rewire everything and also HSSE cable come here and you will be connected to not here okay what I need to do is recraft that and in the meantime I will also ah I'm an idiot Okay, and this should be our current EU capacity. Okay, EU stores. Okay, and this should be now getting close. And we will have to do this and temporarily disable this guy. Let's say backup. Backup start. Okay, we crafted our IM uh, EV transformer, and you will come here, and you will be step up, and the same thing for you, and you will come go here, and you will be step up, and let's hope we do not have any boom. And, okay. Okay, we don't have any boom. 
Okay, our issue is not power output because it give, it outputs. And what is our main issue? I am transformer. You should be. Wait a second. Okay, it should be reverse. So. Okay, uh, our system is back on, and yeah, everything should be okay-ish. Also, and next goal is actually I will probably craft a bunch of transformers, and actually I can use manual transformers too. Yeah, let me just look at them, but I will do them later, not at the moment. So, we upgraded our power spine. And all I have to do is... You are irrelevant now. All I have to do is just... Insane Transformer. You are okay. HSS... No, you are not going to use HSSE. You are going to use HSSG. Because you are going to carry less packet. And everything should start working now. Oh, of course, of course, this one just restarted. So, reactor controller. Okay, after we rewired stuff a bit, uh, I spent a lot of evidence cable but it's worth it i ha just have to paint them yeah uh, we just have to paint them and is it yeah it's working it's doing this <laughs> uh, this is a good trick to know yep and here it is coming to our thingy magicy. And how we are going to connect this part to our network? Okay. Uh, and I also going to connect this here. And then I know there is no connection here. And connect here. And we have a pattern terminal, crafting terminal. Crafting terminal is nice. And voila, what we are going to do is this guy. And did I bounce them? No. Where is it? Click virus rest on. Okay. Okay, they are bound. And voila, we have access to. Our network, wirelessly. But the thing is, uh, if we see advanced memory card, no, where? Okay, network tool. If you look here, this guy drains 31.5 EU per tick. And one more thing. Let's just show you. Let's make the distance a bit higher, like this. Okay, they are connected. Now, if you look again, the power drain, yeah, it's 196 EU. Do not use this guy for long range tra transfer. This guy is designed for small uh, around corners and uh, hard to place uh, thingy magicy and that is actually a perfect place for let's come here clean clean room and i also removed uh, most of the air area here Currently, we don't have any automated circuit crafting, so this is what we have. It needs, it's a priority for us. Now, 
let's look at this molecular assembler and let's look at our network tool. Yeah, we need to make an, a better placement, but let me just think about it. Okay, uh, this should be a bit nice temporary solution, but at the end we are going to do something interesting. Okay, this. And you will be molecular assembler. Okay, so this is the molecular assembler area, and you will connect to a dense smart cable. Now, let's connect our thingy-majiggy here. Voila! And what we're also going to need to do is... Let's make it like this. And three thingy-majiggies. That should be enough. What we can do is, for example, uh, let's say I want to craft machine casing. Yeah, actually, I uh, know that's a bad idea. Uh, let's craft motor. Yeah, it's the same thing and it would be faster in molecular assembler. And let's teach Actually, I have to rename them. Let's teach this guy to mole assembler zero zero. Okay, I have to rename that. And zero zero. And if I search for motor, I can now craft, let's say, 10 motors. And I don't have enough of this. Let's say three. Yeah. Uh, motor. Okay, it's already crafted. It is the autocraft thingy. And unlike the logistics pipes one, actually, come to think of it, I, ju I can just use one at the moment. Yeah, I don't need more. I will add more when I need it. And uh, one more thing, I can actually add multiple molecular assembler to one interface to parallelize that, or I can add multiple interface to one molecular assembler to serialize that. And not serialize it, but uh, make it do more work. So, if we in the future have something needs to be crafted all the time, it will have its own dedicated molecular assembler, but most of the stuff can queue up on this at the moment. So, we handled this part. Now, what we're also going to need is probably we are going to add either here, upstairs, or this room. Probably here or upstairs. Let's come here, LP. These machines. These machines, actually, we are going also going to upgrade them. We'll craft our circuit components, and this entire process will be fully applied energy sticks based. Also, our fluid storage is currently on super tanks with uh, lo logistics pipes, but so we have something on our hand. Let's come here. No, not the essential storage, sorry. Fluid storage. Yeah. And let's say 1k fluid component and 1k fluid storage cell. It can hold 2 uh, ml, and so half of a super uh, tank words of fluid itself, one type of fluid itself, or we can do the other type, which is, yeah, uh, it's less, but it can hold five types. But we are not going to use this basic one. We are probably going to upgrade to at least 4K one. So, yeah, it's eight millibuckets for most of the stuff, but we are also going to upgrade along the path, so... Yeah, with that, 
Wait, where is my... Ah, healing jets, okay. With that, actually, instead of... Let's come here. Uh, and also, let me just take this quest. It's far cheaper. Far, far cheaper to make uh, cables like this at, this at the point. Yeah. For example, if I directly move this infrastructure to... If I turn to 6, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I have to sacrifice 30 channels. And with this setup, we are in, in mind. If I use one type storage, uh, one cell per fluid, I will use just three channels. If I prefer, for example, a five per uh, cell, that would mean actually one channel. Yeah. Yeah, one channel, and I still have plenty of space. So yeah. You know what we are going to do? To save the channels. But I'm out of time in this episode. Actually, technically, I can take in, in any amount of time, but there is fight going on. Okay, what was I saying before I rudely got interrupted? Yeah, uh, my cats are acting strange today. And so what happened is Pom Hachi decides to jump on my desk and Pomuk decides to jump on her. Yeah, that's not a pleasant uh, thing, both on my side and Pachi's side. Uh, on Pachi's eyes, it's something like this. Uh, probably someone who is around twice your size, probably more than twice your size, jumps to you. Yeah, I also wouldn't want to be in the receiving side of this thing. Anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, I lied uh, in the beginning of the episode, but it's for a good cause. And it's nice to meet you, good cause. Anyway, next episode, I will craft a lot of interfaces, a lot of thingamajigs, and a lot of storage cells. To finally move our entire infrastructure away from logistics pipes. We're probably going to use logistics pipes for remote networks, some remote uh, locations, because it's still useful and it's still an amazing tool for some uh, automations, but we have to centralize everything. Anyway, as usual, please do not forget to like, comment, if you like, share your video. All the feedback, all the interactions are appreciated and helps to grow this channel. And I also really enjoy reading all the comments. So, this is Crafty, Crafty, and have an amazing day.